What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, we're gonna be drawing a piglin from Minecraft. I'm gonna get started by drawing a square in the center of our page for the snout. So let's start at the very top, draw a straight line from left to right. Now we draw that same length line coming down the left and right side. So let's start with the left. Coming all the way down towards the bottom. And then do the same thing on the right. And then we'll close off the bottom with a straight line. Now let's draw in the nostrils. We're gonna start on the left side. We're gonna move up from the center. Draw a straight line coming in. Just line this up on the right and draw that same length line. And we'll come down towards the bottom of the snout. Now we're gonna divide this rectangle in half, starting from the inside. We'll go across, we're gonna extend this past the edge of the snout. Let's do the same thing on the right, going all the way out. And then we're gonna wrap the tusk around the bottom corner of the snout. Let's start back on the left. Draw a straight line coming down. Do the same thing on the right. I'm just gonna pull this in. We're gonna line up with this inside edge of the nostril. Going in, and we'll pull that straight up. Let's do the same thing on the right. We're gonna start from the snout, coming down, and go all the way out. Now let's move up and draw on the eyes. From the top left corner of the snout, we're gonna draw a straight line going out. We're gonna line this up with the outside edge of the tusk. Go up towards the top, and then we'll pull that in. We're just drawing a small square on the top left corner. Let's do the same thing on the right. Now we're gonna move out and draw on the outside of the head. In between the tusk, we're gonna draw a straight line going across. Now we're gonna extend this out along the side. So let's start on the left, going out, and draw that same length line on the right side. And now the side of the head is gonna be the same length that we have along the bottom. So let's start on the left. We're gonna draw a straight line going all the way up towards the top of the head, to right about there, and do the same thing on the right, going all the way up towards the top. And we'll close off the top of the head with a straight line. Starting from the left, just go all the way across. Now the ears on the side are gonna be angled down and out. So let's start on the left side. Draw a straight angle line, coming down and up towards the bottom of the ear. Let's line this up on the right side. Angle down and out towards the right, towards the same height. Let's move back up and flatten off the top of the ear. Starting from the inside, you can draw a straight angle line going up and out. And the same thing on the right. Now we're gonna follow that same angle line coming all the way down toward the bottom of the ear. And then we'll close off the bottom with a straight angle line. Let's do the same thing on the right. Now we're gonna move down and draw on the sides of the body. From the outside of the tusk, we're gonna step out. Draw a straight line coming down towards the bottom of the body. Let's do the same thing on the right. Stepping out, come all the way down towards the same height. And we'll close off the bottom with a straight line from left to right. Let's add some detail to the body starting with the belt. From the bottom corner of the body, we're gonna step up and draw a straight line going across with the top of the belt. And then we'll add the buckle. Starting in the center, we'll draw a short line coming down We'll leave a gap and continue along down towards the bottom. Now going back to the top, we're going to stretch a line going out towards the side of the body on the left. Come down to the bottom line, go out towards the right. Let's close off the end of the buckle. From the center, we move over towards the right, draw a straight line coming down. Go over towards the left, draw another straight line. Let's move up to the top and draw in the collar. Starting in the middle, we'll draw a short line going across. Go up the sides. And then we'll go back out. And we're just gonna pull this up underneath the tusk on the left and right. Now on the sides, we're gonna draw the arms in an angle coming down and out. Let's start on the left side. 
Start with the angle line, come down and out towards the bottom of the arm. We'll line this up on the right and do the same thing. Then we're going to move back up and flatten off the top of the arm. Starting on the inside, go straight out. Do the same thing on the right side. And then from the outside, we draw that same angled line coming down towards the bottom of the arm. So we bring this down to right about there. And then we'll close off the bottom with a straight angled line. Let's do the same thing on the right. And then along the bottom of the arm, we're going to step up, draw another line coming across. And then going up to the top, we draw that same angle line from the bottom edge of the sleeve. Let's line this up on the right side. Drawing the sleeve, going up and out, come down towards the bottom, and draw another line. Let's continue working down with the legs. From the hip, we're going to step in, a straight line, and all the way down towards the bottom of the foot. Go to the right side, step in, and then draw another line, coming down to the same height. Let's flatten off the bottom of the feet. Starting on the left, come in. Now we leave a gap in the center, continue over towards the right. Let's go to the inside leg, draw a straight line, going all the way up. So we pull that up to right about there. And do the same thing on the right side. Now we'll close off the middle with a straight line. Now from the top, we're gonna step down, draw a straight line going across from left to right. We'll step down, draw another straight line coming in, leaving a gap, continue on the right, and then finally we'll come down towards the bottom of the foot, draw another line going across on the left and right side, and that's pretty much it. There we have it, there's a piglin from Minecraft. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send me your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.